The senior class brought a beginning to Wildwood. Everything we did was the first time it had ever been done. As, as George always said, you, we sold you air. Sold your family's air. There was nothing here. Your families took a risk. They risked you and your education because they believed that it would work. And that's something that only a first class can experience. No other class can ever experience that. You were the pioneers. It was a struggle because it was a journey for them. They were coming into a school that they had no clue was gonna make it. I never, ever, for one moment, thought you were guinea pigs, because we knew what we were doing. I was so convinced. I mean, I, I knew this would work. We're the ones who will shape and define the main portion of our school. We'll be the ones who will decide what can and can't happen. It was hard because before I'd always been given guidelines like this is what you need to do and I thought that, that made it harder but then I realized it's actually much more difficult to create the guidelines for yourself. But in doing that process it gives you total control of your education. It gives you the power to really study what you want to study and create what you want to create. And so that has empowered me. And what was the question again? <laughs> well, the 12th grade class has energy. We have so many different ideas. We all come from different places. We have different emotions, different perspectives with everything we go into. And, and that I can go into that school and, and I feel like I'm totally in charge. I know where everything is and I know where my place is. It was sort of of our own design and we could influence and create and change and... You're different. You're just a different class. I think it has molded who you are because you've done everything here first. It's forced us to look and see what Wildwood is, why we should do the things we do, and just, you know, set ourselves up as the role models and, you know, now we're the people. That the other classes can follow in the years to come so that Wildwood has its own sort of culture. I think they were able to say, you know, we have no role models, it's us. The trust with the seniors I know started from ninth grade because that's when we first met each other. And they put us in really awkward situations like sitting on each other the first day we met each other. And for kids who don't know each other, that was a big deal. For example, we always have like ropes courses and all these challenge courses where people are like, no, I can't do it, you know, we, you know we're not going to make it. Or, and, you know, we're always there, you know, you can make it, you can make it, go on, keep going, keep going. And that support that you feel when you're up there and you, you know, you got everybody screaming, rooting for you to, to do it is, is one of the ways that, that, um, that, we, that you can see how, how close we are. Being a senior, I went to Camp Wolf and the high ropes course was none like any other. We were halted onto this rope. Our peers pulled us up, pulled us up with their own strength. And then we, it was up to us to let go and kind of just swing and hold on for dear life. And I think that kind of, that really does relate to what we're doing as seniors because we have had our friends to trust. They have been the people who've been pulling us these four years, and now it's time for us to let go and to kind of take that trust with us and swing wherever we want to. If this group of students was at a large high school, many of you probably would not be friends with each other. I think that it's really funny. With our class, everybody is really different but we've all picked up mannerisms from each other. It's so scary. Sometimes I'll say something, I'll be like, oh, that's just the way this person would say that thing. Or I've picked up words that other people, with phrases. It's awful. <laughs> I mean, no, no, it's not, it's not bad, but it's really funny. That no matter what it is you like or you're into, you can always get along with everyone else. There's still times when I could finish off sentences of every single person in my grade and they could do the same thing with me. So I feel that for some odd reason we're just one big person. Mm -hmm.